One last question. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask that um, I was always interested in like modeling others because that's, as you said, getting yep. the same results. But at the same time, I think it's important to be very authentic to yourself. Nice. And I have like trouble with it. Like, how can I still get the same result but be, be myself? Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Can we give our hand, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of you in this room, you are all copies. No one in this room is authentic. <laughs> there's, n there's nobody, and you can't deny that, there's nobody in this room who is authentic. How your authentic self, you're telling me you were brought, when you were baby, into this world, you were like you are now. Is that what you're telling me? Right? There is no authentic self. If you understand this, right? Authenticity, this is, this is an interesting thing, right? And this might shatter a lot of people. I'm not here to attack anyone, but I want to just open up your mind here right now. The majority of people, we are conformed in what we feel is right, wrong, what we feel is authentic, not authentic, fake, real, whatever, right? Now let's look at this for a second. What it, everybody in this room is pretty much fake if we had to label it with what we are, what society has conformed us to. Why? It's, it's very, very simple, okay? Is it not true that, how, how many of you, you know, you see sometimes the kids may walk um, similar, in a similar side to the parents? How many of you have seen something like that before? Or they can do similar actions, some similar things. You think they were just brought into this world with the same actions? Have you ever seen a kid see someone smile or wink in a certain way, then they copy it? Right? Then what happens is, let me tell you, how, how does authenticity come along? Authenticity comes along when you constantly, persistently program that conscious mind and it plugs into, it goes from conscious to subconscious. Once it becomes subconscious, you believe that's your authentic self. Right now on stage, I know when I want to speak with power, I know to stand here. Why? Because this was a system I learned. Was it my authentic self? No, definitely not. I didn't even know I had to stand here. Somebody said, just stand here. Whenever I stood here, I was like, this is really uncomfortable. I don't like standing here. I like standing here. This is my authentic self. <laughs> now, you don't need to, I don't need to think about standing here. This is my authentic self. You can't change. You, 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 you want to you say, that's not your authentic self? No, this is how I stand. What are you talking about? When I was in my teenage years, right? This year re used to really get on my dad's nerves because my dad was always like, I used to be the... Uh, guy, uh, the, the kid with the jeans down here. <laughs> I used to like, kind of like, you know, walk like, you know. I used to be pretty gangster, you know. Like, I am still today, but, you know. <laughs> so, I used to walk with your jeans down here. My dad was here, so, Eric, just stand up straight, you know. You're a guy, you, you need to use someone's success. Just stand up straight. I'm like, Dad, it's okay, just chill out, you know. <laughs> <Got that. laughs> yeah, you guys find it funny, he didn't, right? And that was my authentic self. Why is it today I walk out, I stand straight? Why? Because I created my new authentic self. How did I do it? By conscious programming. The conscious programming logs into the subconscious, then it becomes me. Every single one of you right now, at one moment in time in your life, you were modeling someone, something around you. Maybe something you watched on TV, you were modeling. You modeled it and practiced it every single day so much that it became logged into your subconscious and now you call it yourself. We live in a real messed up society. Why society does this? You come into a two, three day transformational event. You go out those doors. Out, out, after three days, I know what you're going to feel out on, on day three because I see it all the time. When you feel that hyped and that you're going to change the world, you're going to make such a big difference and make a lot of money while doing it. You go out there with everybody, seeing everybody. Wow, there's no such thing as negativity, you know? 
you think you're going to be accepted by society? They're going to be like, are you okay? <laughs> What's wrong with you? And what you will always hear is this word here. They say, you've changed. Yes. Today, people look at me, they say, you've changed. Right? Like, like, like it's something so, so, so bad. Right? In my head, I look at them, I think, oh my God, you haven't changed. So back to authentic self, what is authentic self? I think you, you decide, you decide, you have, you have the choice this weekend. You can make the decision to be whoever you want to be. You can be the new improved version of you. You can be the 2.0 you if you wish. How do you do it? Very simple. Through this weekend, and it follows right nicely with this whole phrase that will be carried through this weekend. And it's something that I came up with a couple of years ago, I call it Master the what? Form and what? Whatever that was, yes. <laughs> I say, master the form and flow with the formless. You want to become the new, greater you, the more successful you. Master the form. What does that mean? It means consistent, persistent practice of the form, the strategy. No changes, no creativity, no nothing. It's the boring shit. But you keep doing it until the form is solid. You know how to stand, you know how to sit, you know how to talk, you know how to negotiate, you know how to pitch, you know how to sell, right? you know how to lead, you know how to communicate. Then what happens is, then you flow. Now you're in flow. Today, coming on stage, I don't need a template. That's logged in, that's subconscious. Now I'm in flow. Any musicians in the room? One whole musician and half over here. <laughs> one and a half. One and a half, two and a half. We've got two, two in total. You two make one here, okay. <laughs> Guys, this is a hand raise. Give me a hand raise. Show me, show me you can hand raise. Come on, everybody. Show me a hand raise. This is a hand raise. This is a confident hand raise. Right? This is a, I'm not sure if I'm a musician. Maybe you can class me. I play the triangle, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. This is a yes. Give me a yes. Give me more confidence. Give me yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. So let's keep that energy throughout this weekend. Say, so master the form, flow of the formless. Right? Same with musicians. Right? You ever try to learn the piano? You see someone play the piano, it looks awesome. You're like, I want to do that shit. Then what happens is you go for your first piano lesson, you're like, why am I still wiggling these four things? Like, I've spent an hour doing this thing. Can I play a song already? But you do that, and 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 you master the form. When you don't need to think about the form anymore, it's logged into your subconscious mind. That becomes the real you. Now you can flow with that subconscious, and you become the best. Right? That's how it works with everything. It works with like that with business. It works that like that with sales. Okay? So, in this session, we were supposed to cover this before lunch. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So... Life Mastery Cycle. This is what we're going to be covering um, this weekend. I want to break it down so you guys know what we're going to be covering this afternoon as well. Okay? 